Maybe the worst contract I've ever seen the Ravens give out. This has to be about Lamar Jackson. And he went on to explain how the receivers in this class in free agency have all signed for about 11 mil. You know, Alan Lazard, uh, who else did he mention up? He, he, he named all the, all the receivers that have signed. So not really a top class, but he used that as a reference point. He's basically saying OBJ has been hurt. Why would you pay this man $15 million when the Alan Lazards of the world are getting $11 million? Now, I'm not going to sit here and try to cape up for why OBJ want, got $15 million. I'm just going to sit here and ask you all this. Why would someone who would say this would also go on to say this the day before? Giving Lamar the, the, the Deshaun Watson contract greater than giving OBJ $15 million guaranteed for one year. So he's essentially saying, I'd rather give Lamar Deshaun Watson money. So, you know, five years, 230 M's. I'd rather give him that than give OBJ $15 million guaranteed for one year. Sounds like somebody is trying to get some clicks. Is this hot taking gone bad? Is there any validity? Would any of you, are any of y'all on the same type of time as Russ Tucker? Let me know in the chat. Would you give Lamar Jackson the Deshaun Watson contract and not give OBJ the 15 million for one year? Do you understand this line of thinking? Because all he's saying is Alan Lazard got 11 million. Why is OBJ get a 15? Well, OBJ is a better player. That's why. So it's a real cut and dry answer as to if you're asking the question, why is, is OBJ getting 50 mil? Because if he's healthy, he's better than any free, any wide receiver that was a free agent this year. Hard stop. Like we're talking about Nelson Aguilar. We're talking uh, uh, Lazard. Like who, who, who are we talking about? There was no big prize free agent in terms of wide receiver. It's OBJ. That's it. Unless you're going to make a trade for Mike Evans, unless you're going to make a trade for DeAndre Hopkins, it's OBJ. So the, uh, at his peak, at his ceiling, which we know he's probably not at his top peak anymore, but I think him at 90% is better than Alan Lazard. I think OBJ at 90% is better than, you know, 100%, 110%, 150% of Nelson Aguilar. What are we talking about? I listened to the clip and part of it also is, oh, they're trying to bend over backwards for Lamar. And he kind of insinuated that they shouldn't be doing that. And you kind of see, well, oh, well, what happened to the Lamar trade request? Well, clearly it's been over a month. If we're going by the timeline of Lamar Jackson, he said on March 2nd, he requested a trade. It is April 11th. It's been five weeks. Clearly little to nothing has happened and clearly we're looking at if anything's going to happen with Lamar it's going to be post draft I still don't think he's going to be traded I don't think any of these teams have the balls to sign him to an offer sheet so I think he's going to have to eventually end up to just pulling up and taking that franchise tag for 32.4 m's however for to to incentivize him to do that I think they have to make moves like this and this is something I spoke about even before the alleged trade uh, the trade request is that if you want him to take a standard deal you're going to have to incentivize him to do so and to do so you have to give him better help than you have given him in the past I think there's going to have to come to a to come to a point where I would overwhelm this roster with talent I would go and try to add another receiver, whether it's a Mike Evans, whether it's a DeAndre Hopkins, whether you go in a draft who with that 22nd pick overall, I would even try to see if I could do something there. And something that I, I was able to look up, a big part of Munkin's offense is also dual tight ends. So now could that 22nd pick with Myers from, from, Myers from, from Notre Dame, could he be in play at 22? Because if Munkin's going to be out here, he likes to have a balanced offense, run, pass, multiple formations, multiple tight end formations. That could be a thing where we know what Mark Andrews can do, even when it's just him and Lamar. Now, we have OBJ being able to eat up parts of the field. Bateman, again, assuming health, 
eating up parts of the field. If you can add another dynamic weapon who can work the middle of the field, find the scene, find the soft spot in the zone, now those running lanes are going to become even bigger for Lamar. You can't just sit a spy. Can't do it. So it'll be interesting to see what the Ravens do. The Ravens now, that 22nd pick has a lot of weight to it now. Bringing in OBJ, assuming health of Lamar and Bateman and JK, and then understanding and learning this Monk and offense, that 22nd pick will really go very far into letting us know what type of time the Ravens are on.